we're going to convert the number of molecules of a covalent compound called dinitrogen hexaiodide into grams. The first step is to write the covalent compound dinitrogen hexaiodide correctly. To do that, you have to know that di means 2 and hexa means 6. So it's N2I6 is the formula for this covalent compound. The next step after that is to look up the atomic mass for nitrogen and for iodine on the periodic table. And the atomic mass for nitrogen is 14.007 grams of nitrogen for every one mole of nitrogen. We have two nitrogens in our compound, so we're going to multiply this atomic mass by two. The next is to look up again iodine, which has a atomic mass of 126.905 grams of iodine for every one mole. And we have six of those atoms in this covalent compound. So when you multiply those and then add them together, the total is 789.444 grams of this dinitrogen hexaiodide covalent compound for every one mole of that compound. So if you look at this number up here, the Avogadro's number is 6.02 to the 23rd. So we can kind of estimate that we have probably, you know, about half of mo a mole. So we would probably find that we'll have about a half of this number. But to prove the exact quantity, you'll want to go through a um, dimensional analysis or a unit factor method or a stoichiometry setup. You'll start with your given, which is 3.3 times 10 to the 23rd. And it's a covalent compound, so we're going to call it a molecule, abbreviated M-O-L-E-C. And again, we'll have a number, unit, and label. The next step is to use Avogadro's number, which again is that there's 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles in one mole. And our particle in this case, because it's covalent, is a molecule of, again, the N2I6. So that'll convert it to moles of N2I6, but we would like to have this in grams, so we have one more conversion. And that's to convert, again, from moles of this covalent compound to grams of this compound. And the molar mass of the 789.444 will go on the top of this, this conversion, and one will go on the bottom. And again, that's to convert these molecules to moles and from moles to grams. So our answer with the correct number of significant figures because we're only going to be able to have two significant figures. We'll find that by taking 3.3 to the 23rd. We'll divide that by Avogadro's number, which again is approximately about a half a mole, a little bit more. And then we're going to multiply that by the molar mass for this co uh, covalent compound, which is 789.444. And so we get 432.7516944, which you can't keep all that. We can only keep, again, two significant figures. So we're going to round it to 430 grams of N2I6. You could put this in scientific notation, which would be 4.3. Don't carry the zero, um, because that would make it have three significant figures. And then put it to the two, and again, grams of N2I6. And so there's your final answer, again, with the right significant figures, the correct um, unit, and the correct label.